right? Because you know what? Like, in my mind, oh my God, I passed. <laughs> I passed the exam. Like, you know, so I'm just so happy and thankful too. Congratulations on passing your PT exam and we all saw that your transformation was amazing. Your scores jumped from you know, speaking 44, reading 33 yeah. to 90 speaking, 76 reading, listening 85 yeah. and writing 75. So amazing. So, yeah, and then your overall score jumped from 53 to 80. Yes. And uh, and I know that you needed a 65, right? 65. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So, th yeah, so that's why we really want you here today to share some tips for other PTE aspirants so that they can uh, learn from you uh, and pass the exam the same way as you did. So, yeah. uh, first of all, um, can I ask you, why did you need to do PTE? Um, I need to take PTE because it's a language test uh, requirement in applying for a teaching uh, registration. Uh, in New Zealand, I'm working on my uh, uh, teaching registration. So how did you find PTE Magic then? Um, while I was doing the preparation in my first uh, intake, I was doing a preparation. I I searched for this PTE free, you know, free platform. So I I encounter many uh, like YouTube also. Then one was the PTE Magic. Then I signed up for free class. I actually yeah. invite my friend who is also taking uh, a review. Then uh -huh. after that, it it took some time for me to sign up for the the online class and you purchase the you know the platform because I was also busy with uh, you know work related you know matters and I have to force myself to go back on track with my deadline. I have a timeline for myself. I could not like, okay, next time, next time. No, no, no. I have to go back to to track. Then uh, in my first uh, take, I was uh, not able to get the required score. So I made sure that in my first, in my second take that uh, I would pass because I would not waste another money again because PTE is expensive, right? Mm. So, uh, I enrolled at PTE Magic. I joined the class and I'm very happy with the trainers, our coaches, because mm. they really encourage us to participate. Though um, we are all adults in the class, if others would not, you know, <laughs> respond or what are they doing other tasks, and they respected on that. But for me, I have, because I paid for it. I, I need to do my part because the facilitators, these trainers are only doing their part, right? So I need also to do my part. So every time they ask us to submit a homework, I have to do it. This is also my way of, you know, uh, practicing myself. I need to submit the homework. And I have also uh, a target study, uh, my my um, study plan. Uh, I make sure that in a day, I have two hours review, one hour early morning and one hour in the afternoon. So the morning review would be the lighter one. It doesn't really need, you know, a lot of, you know, thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my reading is in the evening and my morning, usually the listening and the speaking because I would just like blah, 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 right? <laughs> Practice my fluency and intonation. So, uh it was challenging for me because I also have a work. There was a time that I really, I really cried because not that I cannot do it. It's just like I'm so tired. Mm. So I, I go back to my goal. Uh, this is my mm. goal that I need to pass. I need to pass. I, I would not, you know, let that this year would finish that I haven't moved on with my target dates, right? Mm. So it was very helpful that there is somebody, there are these trainers who are guiding us because if it's if it is only me by myself mm -hmm. uh, i would not be forced to to focus mm -hmm. so it's really a big help that uh, i enrolled myself in this uh, online uh, online uh, class mm -hmm. and also the platform is very helpful mm -hmm. i am able to practice myself especially the speed i have to check with the time 
then also there are tips given by the trainers that make sure that uh, before you finish the time you have you have to allot this few minutes to check the grammar and the spelling so i i follow the tips uh during our classes and uh, it's really a big help so mm -hmm. i'm so thankful for them <laughs> So, which part did you find the most challenging? Obviously, I know that your scores for speaking was 44 and reading was like 33, right? But so, uh, which task in particular did you find the most challenging for you? And how did you overcome? Like, what did you do differently in your, in your latest attempt that you got such a high score? Okay. Well, it's usually the speaking. Mm. It's the speaking. <laughs> mm. Because like... Oh, well, uh, I am exposed to the use of English language, but, you know, on how the way I, I enunciate or I, I use it through speaking, it's different, especially if I only practice speaking with, uh, like, like us uh, Asians, right? So there is, like, a requirement for, you know, the, the native speakers, how they how they pronounce the word so it was a challenging for me because at first i believe i know this is this is the right way of reading especially read aloud this is the right way of reading but eventually when i get the uh, the score like it gives me like lower marks like, oh, how? <laughs> how how what's the the proper way mm. so mm. i need to exercise mm. myself and also, it matters mm. that the, the input should be the correct correct one so that I, the output would also be the, the, the desired, you know, the desired um, target. So, I keep listening mm. on, like, for example, TED Talk or some, you know, the CNN, BBC channel. So, I keep listening on them. So, those are my input. Those are my input. Then, I could also use it in how uh, I read, uh, especially the read aloud. So read aloud is my the challenging one. And second is the describe image. Though some others said it is quite easy, but because there's a template. So our coaches provided us template. And though if there is a template, I need to master, like for example, reading figures. Like when there are many figures, like, Oh my God! How would I start it, right? So that's the uh, that's the start that I stutter, which you know mm -hmm. the AI would detect that I'm stammering uh, <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, uh, L, uh, yeah, I remember it was L who said that you have to you have to practice yourself in what in which way you are comfortable. For example, if it is a graph, are you comfortable reading from bottom to top? or mm. right or left something like that and you mentioned this particular keywords highest and the lowest and some other some other figures so i just you know the the key is really practicing practicing and you know what i, I if i'm going to do it again the the pta exam maybe i could not get that high score again because <laughs> i'm not practicing now my management has also uh, help me a lot mm. it improves because at first i don't have i don't really focus on time management like i need to make it sure that every item i uh, i have to make sure it's perfect it's correct but mm. um our coaches i remember it was shad who tell who who told us that uh, if you are not sure better you just have to skip it or else you will get as in totally zero or negative on that so that's also some technique that okay if i'm not really sure on this so i will not waste or else i will get total mm -hmm. zero the microphone the headset okay so before i started with the exam i i check it i make sure that i don't sound like like that so i practice it and i ask the staff if i could take my mask during the speaking part and mm -hmm. they allowed me so I'm so confident with that, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> without mass, because mm. I also practice, you know what, I did everything. I also practice with with mask. <laughs> mm, mm, Early mm. morning, I, wear, I wore mask and practice, and, you know, so that I could um, 
still catch my breath even there's something that uh, covers my nose. Mm. So uh, I also get um, the video tip from I don't know from PTA Magic, uh, sending us video that uh, how to you know speak using a uh, headset mm. that make sure that it's not too far or it just here in the nose. So everything that. Uh, they said to us uh, was so helpful for uh, our friends out there uh, who wants to take uh, this language test could be PT or IELTS one thing that I could say is do not go in solo there mm -hmm. are these people like PT magic uh, teachers and co mm -hmm. coaches who could help us because if you have to if you want if you just want to prove to yourself that I'm good at it or what. Yeah, you can prove it. Maybe there are many ways you can prove yourself that you are good. But at this time, this is an exam. <laughs> we need an expertise. So we do not go solo. Ask for help. Because there are there are certain people who are, you know, given this, you know, skills and talents uh, who are very good at helping and coaching. So we seek their help for us to get Oh, the desired uh, score that we want, especially mm -hmm. for language exam. Mm -hmm.